Hello, my name is Eddie Hines and welcome to Tech and Travel, my video diary of all things tech and places to visit. Today I will be discussing Apple's newest software that is coming out this very week, none other than iOS 15. There will be over 60 new additions to the software, but today I will be discussing one, focus mode. Don't you hate it when you go into a meeting and forget to silence your phone? Those notifications and phone calls seem to come out of nowhere at the most inopportune times, embarrassing both you and the people around you. Well, Apple finally solved that problem today without the need of third-party software. And I want to tell you how to set it up and how to use it whenever you want. For this demonstration, I'll be using my church family, Faith Christian Center in Austell, Georgia, as my guide. I will be using and setting up a church focus mode by first creating a special home page filled with any app you use while you're at church, along with the trigger methods to invoke the mode and how to turn it off. So here we have an iPhone 11 with iOS 15 installed showing my main home pages. As you can see, I have two visible home screens and if you swipe all the way to the right, there's a list of apps at the end, just like it was in iOS 14. The first step we need to do is create a special home screen that will only have the apps you need for the church. Now swipe over to the app list like this and type in faith, F-A-I. Now it should show right up. Now hold the app with your finger and drag it down a little bit so it actually starts wiggling. Slide it over to the right to its own home screen. So it should show up all by itself. <clears throat> now, let's go do it for the Bible app. Swipe over to the right, go to the app library, type in BIB, hold it, drag it with your finger, and now we have it by itself. Now you should see this, a new home screen with just the app on it. Now, we don't need this page to show with all the others we already have, so let's let me show you how to hide it. So let's push the done button. Hold in the three butt dots at the bottom here of the screen until it starts wiggling. Then I want you to tap the same spot again. Here, you're gonna uncheck the button that shows the new home screen you created and click done. Click done again. And as you see, it's no longer there. But it is around and we're going to use it a little bit later. So go to the settings app of your phone and click on the focus icon. It's right here. It used to be the do not disturb on your phone, but now it's called focus. As you can see, there are several modes already made for you asking you to set them up. But now I want you to click on the plus button in the upper right of the screen so we can create a brand new one. After you get to this screen, tap the custom button which will bring you to this screen. Now tap the name and type in church. H. Choose any color you want for this. I will choose purple for its regal nature. Choose any emoji you want below. Again, I chose a building because that's what we will be in. So as you do is you just type, you'll tap the building here. Now click next. The next page deals with whom you want to interrupt you while you're in worship time. As you go here. Now, for me personally, I don't want anyone interrupting me unless it's really a big emergency. And the people that I want notify me on emergency are the ones in my favorites list. So I'm gonna go ahead and click allow none, but I'm gonna allow calls from my favorite list just in case somebody needs to interrupt me during worship. The next thing here is allowed notifications. These are the things that get you in trouble, especially in church. So you actually don't want any of them going off to put you in a real do not disturb mode. So you're gonna click allow none. After this, you're halfway ready 
So just click done. And now you're gonna to come to a different screen here. Now, as you see, your people are none, your apps are none, your focus status is on, but the home screen is the one we're gonna focus on. So go ahead and tap the home screen button. You're going to push the hide notification button first. Then you're going to push the custom pages next. You're gonna get a list of all the home pages you have. You're gonna select the one you created that actually has the Bible apps in it. Touch it till it turns a blue check mark. Then click done. Then hit the back button that says church to take you back to the screen. Then here under lock screen, if you want to dim the lock screen, you can do that, but it's not really needed for this demonstration. You will all, but I do suggest that you click this one here. What this will do is when you walk away from the church, all the notifications that were silenced during church will now show up so you can take care of them as you need fit. Now, as you do here, we have one more spot to go. We're going to tap on add schedule or automation. As I told you at the beginning of this, we're going to focus on location and not time because not all the time you're going to be in church from Sunday at 10 o'clock to 12. You want this to go to silent every time you go to worship. So here you want to tap the location button and then you have a box here that says search or enter address. You're going to tap that box. Now, Faith Christian Center is located at 3831 Traymore Point Parkway in Austell. So we're going to go ahead and type that in. 3831 space T-R-A-Y M-O-R-E. As you see, it's trying to think of where you're trying to go. Make sure it does not automatically put a space in between Trey and more. And then when I start typing in P-O-N-T here, there it is. So what you want to do is tap that. You see the little blue circle around the area. That's the perimeter that it's going to activate itself once it's inside that circle. You can adjust it here as you, as you wish. Once you adjust it properly, you can go ahead and click done. Now you're complete. Now what I will do is I will go back to focus and swipe up to go back to my home screen. Now let's say I want to test this focus. Since I'm nowhere near the church, I'm gonna to have to trigger it manually. On the upper right hand corner, just swipe down till you get a bunch of different icons called the control center. You're gonna notice that there's a focus button right here. You're gonna tap the focus button. You'll see the list of your focuses there. And I want you to tap church. It will light up purple. And now swipe up, swipe up again. And look, there's only two apps on your phone. That's it. And your list of apps are here. And all this is here you will not be disturbed anymore. So, congratulations, you're done. So whenever you get near the church, this new focus will automatically activate until you leave the area in which the previous focus mode was automatically turned on. So I hope you enjoyed this quick lesson with the new iOS 15. Take care and God bless.